Hey guys, welcome back to the Tukes and Tires YouTube channel. I'm Zach and this week we're making automotive house lighting. So come along for the ride. Hey, is that Timmy's? Yeah, because we're in Canada. <laughs> oh hey, I didn't see you there. I was just sitting here basking in my Tukes and Tires shirt. Oh, what's that you say? We have merch? Well, let me show you what we got. Obviously, we got the classic Tukes and Tires tee, but if you don't want that, we got the Salute the Beaver tee. We got hoodies, we got zip up, we got pullover, pick your side, we got 11 different colors, they all say Salute the Beaver on the back, and how could we do this without Tukes? So we got those in a whole bunch of different colors. How you getting there? You're going to lugnutshop.com. Link is down below, click it, go check it out, support me so I can work on cool stuff like this. Thank you, and now back to your regular scheduled program. <laughs> All right, well, if you're not already wondering what I'm doing, um, my one friend said he needed a light for his drafting table, so I kind of had this idea of something that I wanted to build, and I think it would be kind of neat, and I think he'll probably like it. So if you've watched one of my videos, it would be the... Uh, Boneyard Big Block video, and if you can see this valve cover, it came off of that engine. Um, my friend that's in that video, he does a lot of art stuff, so I thought it'd be kind of neat to make him this light. So I got a whole bunch of engine parts. So I got this old clamp, and if anybody has bought a Phytech system, like an LS or something, this is what that is. So I'm hoping maybe I can change this and pump up the spring so it, it will clamp onto a table probably won't work and then I got these push rods that I want to make like a scissored arm thing so we're gonna take three of these like this and then they're basically gonna go something something like this that's gonna make it so that this arm can like articulate a little bit I think I'm gonna like weld washers and use nuts and stuff to make it so that it's stiff and that will go on to this and because I'm a carpenter and the electricians are around they usually throw some stuff out at work so I got this like LED light strip and I got some like loom covering and uh, yeah we're gonna try to make up this light I guess I've made some other stuff before uh, I got one over here that I've made and it's a air filter chandelier I don't know if I can get the plug down uh, here we go we'll get her so, it works something like, I don't know what it'll be on. Huh, maybe it's not on. I don't know, it used to work. Oh, I see it's unplugged up there. Well, that's disappointing. But, anyways. Uh, I got pictures of it. So, I'll put, uh, I'll put pictures of it up. And then I've also made some other automotive uh, car stuff. I'll put some pictures over it that I made it was a table and chairs for Toronto Motorama it's made out of some like s10 stuff and then there was like a table with a drive shaft and stuff it's pretty fancy I'll put some pictures over what I'm talking about but I usually like to make this stuff when I'm uh, you know kind of tired of working on my 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 projects so we'll uh, get the game plan here I'll clean up some of this stuff I already cleaned this up but uh, I'll kind of situate what I want to do with these and I'll get it welded together and show you what's happening. All right, so the game plan is here. So you can see how I got this laid out, right? This is the way I'm going to do it. And on the end of those, what I'm going to do is I'm going to weld a washer like this. So basically it's going to make a pivot point here. If I have to space it out with washers to make these gaps a little bit bigger, I will. But then basically what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to take a nut and then, I don't have any wing nuts, but I'll just take a nut for now, might make a wing nut. And then you'll be able to tighten these joints and loosen them to make the thing articulate. And then I might weld something over here as well to make it so that it'll have a pivot point up there with a nut. So I'll be able to put it into there. And then I think my idea for running the wire up this, because I feel like that's the way you're going to want to do it, is either... I'm going to run this uh, goldish wire I have and might make it so it weaves through this, kind of. I don't know. We're going to figure it out, but I'll get those welded up, 
Should I do a time lapse of me welding those? I don't know. We'll see. I'll, I'll feel, I'll, we'll see what I feel like. But, uh, <laughs> we'll get that welded up and then see if it bolts together, I guess. Your helper. The cat's crashed out here. Well, she was, anyways. But, alright, so I got these things welded up. So you can see that I just welded the washer onto the end and I kind of just ground it here just a little bit to take majority of it off, but I rounded it all off. And you can see I got this one bolted together, so it will be like this. I'm going to put the other two down here. But I didn't think this clamp was going to be, is going to do it, because it's just, it's a piece of garbage. So we heated up this wrench. Oh, she's getting cherry red now. And we got her bent like this, and this is just some scrap we had laying around. So this is one of those things that like screws a sink to the bottom of your countertop. And I'm going to chop this lug nut off a little bit, and I'm going to weld it onto the wrench, and then I'm going to weld this onto the end, and I'm going to give this a bend. So basically making myself a C-clamp that you'll be able to clamp this thing to the table, and it looks kind of sweet. Three-quarter inch wrench, so. And then I'll make something off the backside here to attach to these two things once it goes on there. I see I'll probably have to be closer to the top there so it at least has some pivot but I'll get this welded up and I'm gonna bolt that stuff together and I'm also going to make basically gonna just take a a bolt like this and I'm gonna weld some washers onto it so it'll be up here and I'm thinking same thing down here so that way I can drill a hole into this valve cover that this will go through like that you'll be able to bolt her down and then I think my wiring, I'm just going to weave in between this thing and I'm just going to run into this grommet where the oil fill cap was going to go because I think that's going to look pretty sweet. And then I think I might make a bracket to hold this LED strip in there. But we'll get this stuff made up. I will see how it looks once it's clamped onto the table and we'll see how cool this thing looks. Well, she's looking pretty crazy. So you can see I got this thing all weld it up and rigged up and I think I'm gonna bend this so that you can spin it and tighten it a little bit better but you can see I got all my joints all bolted together and I got a bolt made on the end here so all I gotta do now is drill a hole into the valve cover so that this will I guess essentially go on like that but it'll look something it's hard to hold this it looks something like like yay when you go to put on the table so I'll get that drilled out so you can see what it looks like once it's all together. And then I'll fish some wires into it, make up a little bracket, and should be flying. <laughs> well, she's looking pretty crazy, but it holds up there. On my cheap plastic table, I just had to put a piece of steel. And I still have to uh, bend this little rod here. And I got the wire kind of ran in there, I think, the way I want it to be ran but it's looking pretty sweet it's a little high but i think that'll be good for a drafting table that way it's up out of your way and you can reach it out pretty far so i don't know if he's gonna want it or not but i mean he's getting it so i'm gonna get this uh led uh strip wired up put in there and we'll see what it looks like i think it's gonna look pretty sweet and i made this out all scrap so you guys at home can make something like this it's pretty cool it's pretty sturdy too, like, I'm pretty surprised for what it is. So this is just the little bracket I made up. It's just a flat piece of aluminum, and I drilled some holes in it, and I got, like, two little screws that I'm going to drill holes on the outside here, and I'm just going to put from this way. I'll probably paint them up orange so they match. And uh, this light strip had, like, a two-way adhesive, but pro tip, because I, I learned this from work, uh, sometimes they have problems with, if like, um, the adhesive letting go so you just run just some like clear silicone just along the edge just in a few spots just to hold it onto whatever you're sticking these uh, strips to and it holds it there so I'm gonna get this in I'm going to solder the wires up and then we're gonna see if she turns on I think it's gonna be pretty sweet well we got her all uh, wired up and I got it all soldered together I guess this is the moment of truth we're gonna see if she lights up so take her extension cord here which way is it going? Something like... Oh man, that's so cool. We'll put that on the ground. Oh guys, that is... That's so freaking cool. You can see the light strip up in there. 
And it's not like a bluish light, it's more of a warm light. I don't know if that makes a difference, but it looks pretty sweet. So I think we might, uh, we might have her done, guys. So that's going to be a conclusion on the home decor automotive stuff. So if you guys like this video, let me know down below. I might do more things like this if I ever get tired of working on <laughs> that thing. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time and don't forget to salute the beaver. Here you are, sir. That's too cool. Look at that. Put a long cord on it for you. Sweet. Man, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. <laughs> I love the beat up valve cover. <laughs> it's too cool. And the memories from the other video. <laughs> yeah. Back in the day.